Make sure to check out G2A. They have really cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more. Link in the description below. So yesterday I made a video about a new memory dump that came out for DLC 4. For you guys that don't know what this is, basically it means that whenever there's a new update on PC, you're able to kind of go through the coding and see if anything new pops up. And well, new information came out for DLC 4. I talked about it in yesterday's video. For you guys that missed it, check it out in case you missed it. Well, today there was actually a little bit more that was found out from someone else who was going through the code. And they found out that a weapon is actually returning, a wonder weapon, and more specifically, the Apothecon Servant from Shadow shadows of evil now normally i would tag this as a spoiler but really honestly this is one of those where we've all been kind of expecting it and this is confirmation for that so let's go ahead and jump into the information if you enjoy the video guys make sure to drop a like and a favorite it does help out it is appreciated let's try to get to 350 likes or 400 if you guys are excited for the apothecon servant returning and of course if you are new if you want to see even more videos like these in the future obviously make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any uploads but let's go ahead and jump into it so obviously we know that yesterday we had that memory dump and it talked about a ton of stuff that i don't want to talk about because there might be some spoiler information there check out the video in case you guys missed it but today we had a couple of other ones that talks about the margua and more specifically the apothecon servant so it says dlc4 margua react id gun and then it says margua react id gun pack now the id gun obviously is going to be the apothecon servant it has a bunch of other names obviously depending on who's carrying the weapon but specifically in the game code is referred to as margua react id gun so it looks like we are going to in fact see the apothecon servant return in dlc4 and then not only that but it also says that there is a pack a punch version of this so we don't know exactly if we're only gonna be able to pack a punch it on the machine if there's some extra steps he can do on dlc4 that allow you to pack a punch it but either way it's really really weird that we haven't had this pack a punch version before as we all know there's been a ton of rumors speculation leading up to maybe we're gonna get the pack a punch version on another map and there's been a ton a ton of questioning being done with even jason blundell saying that it might be possible to pack a punch it and while it looks like we finally got it we weren't able to do it on zetsubo weren't able to do it on gorad krovi but obviously this last map the final map there has to be some conclusion to this upgraded apothecon servant because honestly there's no upgraded version we have one on zetsubo noshima with the kt4 being upgraded we even have it on gorad krovi where you can upgrade the mark 3 but the apothecon servant there's never been a legit way to upgrade it apart from gobble gums or using a glitch that allowed you to upgrade it it's kind of weird that they wouldn't let you do that but it looks like finally there is going to be that conclusion here for dlc4 it's in the game coding it's going to be in dlc4 apparently and will apparently have a pack a punch version whether it's another gobble gum one which would honestly be a kick in the nuts for the entire community or whether it's an actual upgrade process through an easter egg quest or something or maybe just a regular upgrade hopefully we do get that because i think we've all been waiting for this and hopefully in the future we're able to kind of go back and upgrade now because of what we do on dlc4 so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you guys excited for the apothecon servant finally being able to be upgraded or it actually just returning the dlc4 because we don't know if we're going to get that upgraded version but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like and a favorite it does get the content out there it is appreciated and it is very helpful guys let's try to get the 350 likes and if you are new if you want to see even more content like this in the future obviously if you enjoy the videos first time make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads go ahead and follow me on twitter for more updates news rumors and more and also check out my gaming channel and my second channel both linked in the description i will see you guys in the next video i'm out peace